One of the new units that was added for measuring things in CSS as part of CSS3 was the viewport units. Now there are four viewport units. I'm not using any right now, but the units are VW, VH, VMIN, and VMAX. Now what these stand for is viewport width. That means the width of the entire viewport, so your whole page. Basically, whatever the width of your body element is, that's your viewport. Your viewport height, so however tall the screen is. Vmin, which is the smaller of the two. And then Vmax is the larger of the two. Now, the difference that this makes at the top level, when you're talking about your wrapper div and things like that, then you were talking about the same thing as percentage. So if I came into my main element here and I said, okay, my main element, if we look at the HTML inside the body, I just have main, and then all the content is inside of there. If I went inside here and I said width is 50%, okay, that is the exact same thing for me because my viewport is the same as the body, main is at the top level. If I came in here and I said VW, same thing, 50% or VW, going to be the exact same thing. Difference is when you get down beyond that, once you've gone inside of whatever your wrapper element is, come down here, if I was to say width 50%, I'm talking about 50% of the parent. Okay, well, that's not really what I wanted. I wanted to fill this whole main thing. If you use percentage, you're talking about the parent of the element that you're styling. VW, I'm going back up to 50% of my screen. So you can see here, it spills out a little bit, and that's because main and the paragraph are the same width. So the paragraph is spilling out. If I set overflow hidden on the main, I could truncate it. But instead of doing that, let's use box sizing. That's what box sizing is meant to fix. There we go. So it was 50% of the viewport width, but because I put border, on, border box on, it's making it fit inside of there. The uh, content inside is being shrunk down to fit in that space. Okay, so VW, viewport width, if I change this to VH, there we go, we get a different effect now. The H is the height of the whole thing. Now I'm going to... Uh, comment these out because by putting the height on here I'm stretching main so let's comment those out there we go now because I don't have a forced width the paragraphs by default will fill 100% of the parent they are display block which means fill the width of your parent so now my VH is working properly if you measured from the top to the bottom here this is 50% if we said V min so the smaller of the two is going to be my width, so this is the same as writing VW. Viewport width shrinks down, or if we said VMAX, it's the same thing as VH here. And we can use the same thing anywhere inside of our code. It's just these are new units. So font size. Okay, my H1 is set to 3REM, so that's three times my default font size, which is by default 16 pixels, so 3 times 16, 48, yeah. <laughs> took me a second. Um, so 48 pixels is the height of this right now. So, all right, looking at this, let's say this is a thousand, so 10% is a hundred. Cut that in half, so let's say 5VH. There we go, pretty close to the same size. So you can use these viewport units anywhere you want on anything that you want. Uh, your padding, you want to make that into VH or VW units. You can. You can change these things. So let's say I want to have 1% of the height or 1% of the width or 1% of the larger of the two or 2% of that. Three. And you can see it just grows as we go up through here. So that's the viewport units. That's all there is to them. So I hope you find that useful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.